Inspired Home Show kicking off this morning. Hundreds of companies will show off the latest and greatest home products that you're going to want to get your hands on to enjoy in your home and enjoy in life. CBS 2's Jackie Kostick live at McCormick Place. And as promised, Jackie is in the kitchen baking. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, Suzanne, yes, but this is the good thing for both you and Ed. I know that we already alerted the Chicago Fire Department that I am in the kitchen, which is usually a scary thing, but the uh, the only thing that we're really using is the oven. It's already set to 425 degrees, so I actually don't think that we should be too concerned about me cooking, and I'm here with a professional <laughs> chef. So, Gemma Strafford, good morning to you. How are you? Doing so well. Thank you for joining us. Let's talk about your brand new book. It's called Bigger Boulder Baking Every Day. And talk about what bigger, bolder baking really means to you. Well, bigger, bolder baking is about recipes that are accessible, they're easy, but you get big and bold results. And uh, bold baking is about like taking risks, just like, you know, going a little bit extra, you know, not your average recipe. And I'll show you that when we do my traditional Irish scones, which is a recipe straight from Ireland. Briefly tell me just about uh, how important scones are to Irish culture because I personally have never met a scone that I didn't love. So, and you guys, you eat them almost every day? Yeah, every day. Well, we're a nation of tea drinkers. And uh, we, you know, so with your tea, like every day you have a scone, it's your tradition. Like, you know, everybody, I grew up doing this. Oh. So we've mastered, you know, over the years, the scone recipe, and I'm gonna share it with yes. you right now. Please do, please and do. I want to show you my little trick. So this recipe is from Bigger Boulder Baking Every okay. Day, and I'm gonna be demonstrating it at the Inspired Home Show tomorrow, but also here for you guys, a little sneak peek. Love it, love it. I have my dry ingredients in the bowl here, your raising agent, self-raising flour, which we use a lot in Ireland and um, a little bit of sugar, and we're gonna grate in frozen butter. Frozen butter, usually you have to let the butter melt a little bit before using it in usually baking. Usually you rub it in with your fingers, okay. you know, and the secret to a lovely fluffy soft scone is the lumps of butter and cold butter. So what we do here is you grate it in with frozen butter, so really cold butter and little lumps. So what happens is when this goes into the oven, it looks like shredded cheese. I know, right? <laughs> so when it goes into the oven and it hits that hot 425 degree heat, yes. what happens is it creates steam. That steam rises the scone. It gives you layers. It gives you fluffiness. So you don't even have, you barely have to get your hands dirty. Grate that in. Go in with your wet ingredients, just like that. Oh this is a gosh. milk and a little bit of egg. And again, you said these are all really ingredients that people will more than likely already have in their home. Absolutely. You know, that's what Irish recipes, we're going to put some scone, or some raisins into these scones. Mm. Irish recipes Looks delicious. are about <laughs> um, accessibility. You know, a lot of our most popular recipes are stuff that you would have to hand at home. So it's... Um, the raisins are the only thing I think I don't have right now. Oh, really? Well, yes. then you can make raisin-free scones. Yes. But here, Jackie, I have a little dough. I have a dough ready for you. So you mix it by hand, no special equipment needed. And then I'm going to get you, Jackie, to cut that out. If you okay. Have you know, I actually have a job to do, which I'm going to do it really quick. Yeah, I'm just going to put I one on. Near the oven. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> job for you. And you know what? We, uh, we actually do have to wrap up, which means that I am going to let you finish that because I got to okay. dive into this bad boy. She actually already put all of the stuff on it so that's butter um, and jam and and it actually is fresh out of the oven she said it's still warm uh, Suzanne and Ed I'm gonna take a big old bite out of this and I'm gonna bring you back some scones because the rest of these I will put in a bag bring back to the station oh gosh mm. this is why we do it <laughs> This is why we do the job. So come down to the show and see me. I'm going to be demonstrating tomorrow two recipes, and there's a great lineup here. <laughs> are, you are you going to leave? Jackie, you are killing that us back so, here. You guys, Suzanne and I. It is so good. Awesome. It is so good. I know. I don't know how to take a TV bite. Yeah, okay. That was delicious. Um, Gemma, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Ed and Suzanne, these are coming back to you. All You'll right. have to get in on wait. them yourselves. Can't wait. Because thank they're you. a delight. Truly, you enjoyed it. <laughs> That was of delicious. <laughs> Just the grace, you know, the <laughs> we 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 had an anchor here at the station who had a rule. She would never eat on camera. And now we know why. <laughs>